Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mining Your Mechs episode 13. Again, I want to thank my patrons for making this testing possible. And another set of thanks to Broadside Mods for sending five mods. I said four before, five loaner mods uh, for the testing, uh, broadsides and admirals. Guys, thank you so much. I love being able to test the different metals. This is the last of the exquisitely boring single mod testing videos. Uh, yeah, they're just too boring. I'm gonna start consolidating, doing shootouts, like the grip against the slam piece, or take all the different metals for one mod and put them all in the same video. I'd originally done separate ones just to make them easier to search, but I'm not doing 100 different videos. Uh, I'm getting uh, requests is what I use for cleaning contacts and stuff. Scotch-Brite pads, the heavy duty ones. Uh, they're much more aggressive than the regular kitchen sponges, particularly good on um, copper and aluminum, but don't use them on the outside of a polished mod. It will burnish it to a matte finish. So be careful about that, but it's fantastic for contacts. Normal setup to reduce the variables, put some grip on this, grip tape, and we'll get started. Okay, we'll be reading the voltage drop across the post here. Um, for reference, the copper broadside was 26 millivolts and the brass admiral was 33 millivolts and we're using a solid aluminum slug because that way we're only measuring the performance of the mech itself okay that went to zero volts that's what it should do and what i do is i close it fire a two second pulse so there's no arcing damage to accumulate and let's see what uh, the voltage drop is 25 millivolts, 25, 25, 25, 25. It does not get any more consistent than that. That's incredible. And about the same as the copper broadside and a little better than the brass. So all expected results. That's the 2700. And let's try quickly the 18650, see if there's any performance change. Goes to zero, good. 36. Okay, so uh, 3 times 35 and 2 times 36. That's for the 18650. So a little bit worse. Uh, this one, 18650, is about the same as the brass with a 2700. So the adapter doesn't do a lot. We're at some very low losses here. Um, fractions of a watt difference between the uh, 2700 and the 18650. Now, let's do some quick arcing testing for that. 0.1 ohm resistor, VTC5. What I'll be doing is firing this. Helps if I keep the top. Firing it 300 times, which I will not make you watch. And uh, checking for any kind of uh, arcing damage in the mod. Did I say VTC5? VTC5A. Don't remember actually. Okay, we want to confirm current is flowing. One of these days I'm actually going to turn this meter off when I put it back up there. 34.3, 34.2, okay. 34, 34 okay. Alright, and now we're going to fire 300 times and you will not have to watch. I'll just jump ahead. One, two, three, four, four, nine, five, nine, six, nine, seven, nine, eight, nine, nine, three hundred. <laughs> okay. Yeah, toasty. And we'll do a quick check. Warm battery, very hot heatsink. As with the other admirals, this works via a clutch plate that when you press down, these three segments complete the contact from the central pin 
out to the walls of the mod. So we're going to look along this inside edge here and along the outside of this. I'll be right back. All I see are like the tiniest of contact points. That's it. No dark arcing or anything like that, that but almost like little indentations where it actually touched. And on the clutch plate itself, you know, essentially nothing. So that's fantastic. Almost no damage at all there. Um, you can take this pin out and just use the scotch bright pads on the inside of this to smooth down any high spots that might form from the uh, contact points, and you're good to go. So that's great to see. So far, consistent operation, low voltage drop, minimal to no arcing damage. Let's move on to the thermal imaging. Here's the mod, wrapped in black electrical tape from head to toe. That's to help increase its ability to emit infrared radiation, because metal sucks at it. You'll see why uh, it's wrapped at the end of the test. Let's put 30 amps continuous through it, and we'll jump forward ahead to one minute, 30 amps flowing now. Okay, that's one minute later at a continuous 30 amps, and it has barely gone up even a degree at the most. So that's rather incredible. You can see just my hand heat here, up at around 29 Celsius, warming up the wire and, and the drip tip. And then if we uh, peel off some of the tape here, you can see why I put the tape on. Because where there is no tape, you see it just reads the temperature of the uh, reflections and not of the metal itself. So this performed very well as expected. And thank you for watching. That's all for this episode.